Eurasia is the largest continent of our planet. These boundless steppes and mighty mountains became the cradle of the Turkic world thousands of years ago. I am Samat Tolukbay, a journalist and researcher. I follow in the footsteps of our ancestors, in the footsteps of the Turkic tribes and people who engendered a great nomadic civilization, who left our steppes and lived in different parts of the world. The school of nomads studying the past, creating the present to build the future. At the mention of Azerbaijan, the first thing that comes to mind is the blossoming capital of this country, Baku, the old Caspian, and of course, the high peaks of the Caucasus Mountains. Have you ever been to small mountain villages with a centuries-old history that you found shelter among majestic hills and rocks? I've never been. Therefore, traveling through the mountainous regions of Azerbaijan, we decided to stay in the ancient village of blacksmiths called Lahij. Getting to Lahij is not easy. I had to overcome several passes and even cross the suspension bridge connecting the two mountains. When you reach the middle and look down, it is horrible feeling. But for the sake of these beautiful views, it is worth overcoming all the difficulties. Stone houses and roads laid out by the same stone. The atmosphere in the settlement is special. I feel as if I found myself in the medieval Caucasus. In fact, the village of Lahij is a historical cultural reserve because the history of the blacksmith settlement goes back centuries. On the territory of about 80 hectares, 94 historical monuments and about 70 residential buildings are located. Interestingly, many of these houses are historical monuments, not a village, but a real living museum. In general, Lahij has been the main center for the production of copper utensils and weapons in Azerbaijan since the Middle Ages. Moreover, the products of local blacksmiths were distributed throughout the Eastern world. It will probably be better to begin acquaintance with this historical region in the museum. The village of Lahij is considered one of the oldest settlements in our country. The first human footprints found on this earth date back to 3rd, 2nd BC. In the Sassanid era, the inhabitants of one of the settlements fleeing persecution settled here, and they brought their craft with them. Basically, it was the art of working with copper. But along with this, other professions also developed – iron craftsmen, joiners and weavers. All these professions exist to this day. That is, as you understand, our Lahij is a village of masters. Now it is a natural historical reserve of our country. Everything here – streets, houses, blacksmith shops, mosques, hammams and even springs – is included in the list of historical monuments. The Lahij History Museum opened in 1985. They say that at first there was a mosque in this building. The museum fund has 1,336 unique exhibits. They are exhibited in the departments of archaeology, ethnography and crafts. The museum even has shards of ceramic dishes dating from 3rd, 2nd centuries BC. All these exhibits were found in the vicinity of the village. These are first of an old smelter, relate to approximately the 19th century. Its main central part is made of Asian yak skin. They say that it is fireproof, and the holders are made of oak. An interesting fact, despite the fact that the village of Lahij is a center for the manufacture of copper products, there has never been copper ore. 
This means that the blacksmiths transported raw materials from other regions. Today, local blacksmiths also order raw materials. This system has been formed in Lahij for centuries, which does not prevent the settlement to remain the center of the ancient copper craft. I also wanted to get to know this art more closely, which has been passed down from generation to generation, and to find out if I can master the skills of a blacksmith. Aga, I heard that you are a blacksmith famous throughout Azerbaijan, and I came to you. Can you devote your time to me, share your historical craft, tell about it, and teach me? Of course, I'm glad you came. Let's show you our craft. Sit down next to my grandchildren. Stay with my student today. I'm very pleased to be able to tell other countries about our craft. Let other nations see and learn that Azerbaijanis have such skill. Today I will show you the secrets of our craft, teach you what I know myself. I think you can do it. Thank you. But before we get down to business, let's start with the history of this profession. Blacksmithing. When did it start? Work with copper is a craft that our people have owned since ancient times. It turns out that people inhabited these places before our era. In Lahij, both nature, beautiful, and the climate in winter and summer are very comfortable. In ancient times, life was complicated, but here, water, air, and nature were comfortable for human habitation. On the one hand, the location of Lahij resembles a natural fortress. It is surrounded by mountains. And in those days, tribes often attacked each other. Robbers robbed settlements, kidnapped people, even stole prisoners into slavery. In those conditions, the locals felt safe. But if you look on the other hand, in such a mountainous area, it is inconvenient to grow something or graze cattle, because there are no spacious pastures, and winter lasts six months. What people could do, they tried to adapt to these conditions. So many residents of the settlement mastered various crafts. For example, now we have representatives of more than 40 different crafts. The main one, of course, is copper craftsmanship. During the time of the Great Silk Road, merchants specially drove into Lahij and took away the products of local blacksmiths to Georgia, Dagestan, Central Asia, Iran, and even Turkey. Instead, they brought back something that was not in Lahij, thus developing trade and improving the welfare of local residents. Today I will teach you how to make a small copper souvenir. Today copper products are in demand among tourists, because the skill of our ancestors in the modern world has become a hallmark of the culture of our people. When tourists come to Lahij, they definitely want to buy something for memory. Of course, this souvenir should be made of copper, because it is a famous craft in Lahij. Therefore, we make small souvenirs, for example, it can be a bracelet. We will decorate its surface with national patterns, write the name of our village. By the way, last year I went to Kazakhstan, participated in a big festival, showed our copper craft there. Then your colleague, a journalist, came up to me, learned to make a bracelet from me. I engraved her name on it. Now I'll make you such a bracelet. Let it remain in memory of our lands. Can you also engrave the name? Let's get down to business then.
Nazar is a representative of the famous blacksmith dynasty in Azerbaijan. Today he teaches the craft of his grandfather to his grandchildren. Looking at these two tomboys, you're convinced that they pay attention to the craft with great interest and that they already have a talent. We have such blanks for bracelets. We apply national patterns on them. For the sample, we take various ornaments from antique dishes. Here you can apply this pattern. Draw a circle in center and six more around the edges. The flower is... Yes, chamomile. Such flowers are often found on antique dishes. As a rule, they drew for chamomile such leaves. Now we'll put this floral ornament on the bracelet. To do this, you must first determine the center of the workpiece. And when you mint, you have to look right here. Not where you hit, but where you minted. The speed with which Nazar works is amazing. Even when he looks at me, his hands themselves do the work and apply patterns with great accuracy. In just five minutes, the blacksmith made such a wonderful bracelet. And now, I'll try to make one myself. Of course, my work cannot be compared with the work of the master. The patterns are crooked, and I spend more time. Nevertheless, I can't say that I didn't succeed at all. If I make another 10 such bracelets, I can probably get closer to the level of the master. I finished. How do you find it? <laughs> Perfect. For the first bracelet, this is a very good job. Thank you. See which bracelet I got. The name of the settlement is engraved on the right, Lahij. And on the left, I as always depicted my name. Now I need to adjust the size of the bracelet to fit my hand. Let's try it. These patterns are suitable for every person's hand. These are made for small children. For my hand, I have to take about this size. After that, you must use a wooden hammer. As I understand it, this is necessary in order not to spoil the upper shiny surface. That's how I learned how to make bracelets. Of course, if I had stayed with Nazar for a few days, I would have learned to make other products. But let's go to other masters. There are a lot of them in Lahij. On the fields and in the mountains of Azerbaijan, many types of grass grow, including thyme alone. About 25 species of it are found here. And in the vicinity of Lahij, you can find 18 species of this grass. Azerbaijan people use it as a seasoning for dishes, as well as for the manufacture of perfumes, because one of the qualities of this herb is its unique aroma. <sighs> a 
If you go to any of the shops on the street, you will meet various masters inside. This is the peculiarity of Lahij. Artisans sell their works here. Hello. How are you? My name is Samat. I am a travel journalist. I came to know about the secrets of your unique almost disappearing craft, to learn its history, to try to do something with my own hands. Will you agree to tell and show me? Hmm. Nice to meet you. Abdullah Dadashev. I live here in Lahij. have been sewing hats for more than 50 years. I would say that this is a very important craft. After all, we put these clothes on the head, and the head is the most important. Without a headdress, a man is not a man. It protects from the cold and adorns a man. These hats are found in every region of Azerbaijan. This is an important part of our national costume. I have students. I teach them so that the work of our ancestors is not forgotten. Now I sew this piece of clothing. It is necessary to cut such a shape. After that, you need to stitch two layers. The shape of our cap will be like this. Whatever you sew, first you need to measure. They say, measure seven times, cut once. Then you will get a good hat. It should fit the owner. People should at first glance exclaim, Oh, what a beautiful cap. You see how my cap suits me. If you do everything with love, it will turn out beautiful. Let me try on one cap. This seems to suit me. So put on. You put it on like that. This is a Circassian cap, one of the oldest hats. Now look at this one. We call it a cracked cap. Because it has the shape, as if it cracked in this place. You see? Put it on like that. Suits you. <laughs> now install the next part on the sewing machine. Like this. Can you sew? I'll try. <laughs> It's not moving in my direction. Push to yourself. And this needs to be pushed. No, you press your foot towards yourself, like that. <laughs> no, you're doing it wrong. Better, I'll give you a needle. Manually? Yes, it can be sewn manually. Look, I'll show you. I see. I can do it for sure. <laughs> I can't even do this. Well done. You're a good student. So you learned. You will go to Kazakhstan. You will be a master at sewing caps. You will sue them to Kazakh brothers. <laughs> You're doing fine.
Yes. 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 After everyone has sewn, you need to correct the size of the headgear. For example, this is a size 56. We can increase it to the 57th. We put it on this form, then it will get bigger. Size can be adjusted here. Ah, uh, this turns out to be opening. Here, we pulled. It should be left here for 12 to 10 hours. Let it stretch out well. Take shape. After that, you carefully open it here. In 10 hours, he will take this form. <laughs> yes, the cap is ready. It turned out very beautiful. Put it on like this. It should be slightly above the eyebrows. No, this way. These caps are made individually for each person according to their size. This cap is warm and very beautiful. This cap is warm and very beautiful, and it seems to suit me very much. Nevertheless, such a hat will not protect from the fierce winter frosts. Abdullah showed me the winter clothes of real Azerbaijani cattle breeders. So suddenly, I became a shepherd in the blessed land of Lahij, where a large tree grows from its stick thrown into the ground, and the only lamb turns into a fat herd. Well, does it fit me? I've stopped here a bit longer than expected in a sewing workshop. The next person we will meet is a blacksmith known throughout Azerbaijan. Our forge is very old. We inherited this land from our ancestors. They opened this workshop in 1725. And since then, it has been working. Now, we continue their work. Your ancestors discovered and then... Yes, if you count seven generations work in this forge, I began to learn as a child. At that time, I was five years old. I worked here with my father and brothers. Now only me. I have three sons. I also teach them our craft. They learn fast, help me well. I would also like to join your sons, help you, and at least a little, to learn the secrets of the mastery. <laughs> so, what are you doing here? This will be a saucer. I leveled like this. Now I need to cut it in a circle. To get it smoothly, I marked the middle and now we'll cut in a circle. Need to cut? Let me try to finish. Yes. Is there enough strength? I will try. Oh, it's good. Cut further. Look, this iron turns into such utensils. Heavy. Yes, heavy. Now we need to fire up. We will, as usual, pump up the bellows. Yes. Great, let's get started. Of course, now there are many modern stoves, but the blacksmith decided to keep the old stove and bellows. They were used by his father and grandfather. Although the technology is old, it can be melted here. 
Until it cools, it is necessary to forge in a circle. You beat up too. Oh, let's try. The faster, the better. Hold it tight. Now hit. You learn in a month. If you stay with me, I will teach you well. Let it melt. Need to warm up? Now try it yourself. It turns out to cool quickly. We need to hurry. Turn over the metal. Do not be afraid. Should we change? Yes. One more time and don't be afraid. I learned to do it. Now, let's forge together. Mm -hmm. In turn? If you hit like this, it will be faster. We must quickly forge. Here. So good. <laughs> After the dishes are ready, their surface will be smoothed out. You can spray any other metal, for example from gold, silver or tin. Here the master decided to spray with tin metal. See how beautiful. Now I will decorate this dish. I will show what we get as a result. The further part of the work will be shown and explained to us by Cable's brother, Master Haji. Look, I've prepared this part. What will we do next? Now we will engrave patterns on it. Haji immediately starts work. He showed me the beginning of work and gave me to finish. What? And now, I'll try it myself. It's not as difficult as I thought. It seems I can do it. Well, how is it? Good, very good. Thank you. You really do well. That's how I slowly cut out the patterns. It seems to be going well. How much time do you usually spend on making one dish? I can do it in one hour. Can you finish it all in just one hour? Yes, and you're good if you finish by the evening. And that's right. I don't know if I can finish this work before evening or not. However, I have started and I will try to do on time. <laughs> You can still do other things if you are bored of standing here next to me. And I will finish and bring it to you. <laughs> That's how I got acquainted with the work of several masters and blacksmiths. Listen to their stories. I was enriched spiritually. In general, I really liked Lahij. Perhaps the fact that here, in an ancient settlement, surrounded by mountains, against a backdrop of stunningly beautiful nature, tourists come to see, with their own eyes, the works of local craftsmen. And there is simple happiness for a small village. If someday the road leads me again to Azerbaijan, I definitely will go to this blessed corner called Lahij.